Hello and welcome to the Cardboard Bunker. My name is Pyburn and today we are playing some more Space Engineers. So I've jumped on and done a little bit of experimenting and I wanted to bring you in before I go too much further. Uh, the sun will be coming shortly to light up our little platform. In fact, it's, it's pretty much always there now, so I'll be quick. I've decided that this is where I'm going to place the main stairs from the hangar floor here to the refining stash storage area. Most of this will be kept up with piping anyway, and I may not go back as far as I initially planned, uh, seeing as though we're, we're getting quite a, an amount of storage already. Uh, once we get to a certain stage in the, in the Mighty Janus itself, we won't need much storage here anyway. Uh, the next project is actually to, um, to improve and increase the miner. The main reason we want that is because we need so many resources to be able to build the Janus. So that's my project for the day. But I wanted to take you through exactly why I chose here. The main reason is so that I can have a lot more space in the hangar. So eventually that, that large cargo container will disappear. And this will be here will be the actual edge wall of the hangar. So that uh, the ships can fly in, dock up to that one and then a couple more spaced across there. And then we'll have some space back here for new ships or new prototype weapons and ammunition which we'll talk about later much later but the other reason is is i don't like having holes in the middle of things so this one down here will be straight down and into the refining area now it was suggested that i invert or or change the angle of the stairs and go a uh, one by two so it's it's too high by one horizontal and this can still work we use this as still working uh, sorry as being able to get in a short horizontal distance up two levels so it's really really handy for getting up into something like this without using the ladders themselves so here will be our control room it won't actually be a control room it'll be our computer room so I will have it vented separately uh, straight across the back here and then I've added glass to the floor purely so that I can see into these refining areas and I may indeed uh, bring it right across to where the assemblers are here I haven't quite decided yet uh, I'm not not hundred percent sure but we'll figure something out later
Okay, so I've just realized uh, I was not recording and I made a bit of a boo-boo. So I cut away the uh, medium, ca medium cargo container that was here and it lifted off the rest of it. Now I've already started grinding it down and putting it back on. But I thought while I'm here I may as well change the design to something that will hold a lot more. And because this is all going to be ore, it doesn't really matter too much. And, and rather than try and pipe everything into certain spots, I will have some redundancies that I'll make up. But I wanted to leave as much space between the miner and the back of the ship as possible to allow for reverse thrust, or breaking thrust as I like to do it. I like to call it, I should say. So what I've done is I've put a uh, conveyor here um, with the three holes. Now we should be able to build this. Okay, the oxygen generator. went there it is we'll go in this spot as before the hydrogen tank <laughs> we'll go in its spot as before should be right engine which is flying away won't go on the back just yet because I think that's a little too close but what we have here is the medium cargo containers because we have such a wide profile we'll be able to fit uh, I think one more you may need to put a gap between the uh, hydrogen tank so that we can lift the, um, put another row of uh, medium cargo containers in here. But that's it for now. I will, I'm going to move this back.
Well, I'm back. I've made it back in one piece. I haven't damaged anything. Uh, one thing that we do want to add to this later on, that's why I've got the programmable block, is actually the PAM, the PAM, uh, Procedural Automatic Mining. So I can get this going, but that's not that's not for now. That's for later. And I'm also, if you guys have any other ideas of any other scripts we can add to this that may help, uh, not mods, but scripts themselves. I do have a bunch of LCDs. I did that just to see... Uh, just sort of give me a depth perception um, and just to see how much rubble and stuff comes through uh, how much I'll, I will actually see and won't see so they don't, they don't necessarily have to stay there the other thing is I want to know if any, you guys want to save this little miner uh, I haven't got given it actually a name at all it has no name but it has been quite helpful it did dig out a fair amount already so if you guys want to save this one just uh, type save little miner or or give a like thumbs up to uh, somebody else who's typed save little miner and we'll save that one I'll give that a little bit of time before I make a decision but we may build a museum area up here seeing things are we're quite a lot more space than I originally thought so by the next episode I should have all the back wall done I should have this area mined out and I should have this area mined out and I'll have the stairs done I think that is the final position I do quite like them there and I'll also have this area here done with the programmable blocks and any timer blocks that we may need I may sneak some timer blocks in the back there um, that's why I've left the access down the back there anyway I'll see you guys in the next episode please have fun remember to hit the like button and if you have any suggestions or comments please feel free to put them in the down the bottom and I will see you next time bye